So what is this mindset piece that everyone is talking about and why is it so important? Well, as a healthcare professional, I know how important it is to have a healthy mindset so that you can make decisions and choices which will positively impact your overall well-being. According to Mental Health America, about 20% of adults suffer with mental health concerns. That's about 50 million Americans. Add to that COVID-19 and the whole mess of the pandemic and 25% more people are experiencing anxiety, depression, psychosis, loneliness, and other ill effects from the pandemic. Now, as someone who suffered from anxiety and depression, I know how paralyzing, frustrating, and painful anxiety and depression can be on your success, your happiness, and your whole life. So I wanna help you create a mindset that will ensure life feels much easier, much better, and you're more in control and capable of looking after your own well-being. Hi, I'm Denise Morrison, empowerment expert transformational health and life coach, and I help women let go of self-defeating mindsets, self-talk, behaviors, habits, and ways of being so that they can truly step into the life that they love and deserve. I have a special connection with other healthcare professionals and educators who have been taught that it's okay to put everybody first, and then what happens? You get burned out, you feel defeated, and you set yourself up for a whole host of issues because your mindset was not in line with what's important to you. And in order to help you with this, I wanna offer you a special uh, mini course and it's on my website, denise.lynnmorrison.com. It's called the Seven Day Mindset Reset. And you can head over there and enroll now for free with tips that I'm gonna share from a little bit about that today so that you can begin to set your mind in the right direction to living a happy, healthy life. So three of the key points from the Mindset Reset I will mention here today involve being aware of your thoughts and your self-talk, checking on that negativity around you, and surrendering control. So number one, what's going on between your ears? What are the thoughts that you're thinking and the self-talk, the words that you're using about yourself and others. Are they negative or positive? Do you find that you react in a panic, in a stress mode, 911, everything is an emergency, and set up a cascade of stressful negative events in your body? Or do you see that event, that obstacle or challenge, and go, hmm, let's step back and take a peek. How can I handle this situation in a healthy, calm manner? to get the best results for everybody. Next, start to wonder how much negativity are you consuming each day? What do I mean by that? Well, negativity is all around us and you may see it on television, you may see it on social media and in conversations at your workplace and in your family. And if you're one that gets affected by negativity around you, this is very important to pay attention to. Take your journal out, do more exercises with me and start to pay attention. How much negativity are you being surrounded by every day? How much negativity are you watching or hearing or feeling in your environment? If you honestly know that you're immersed in situations or taking part in situations where there is lots of negativity, I bet you you know how crappy that feels at the end of the day. And why do you want to feel crappy? I do not know. So this is why I'm here to help you so that you can be more aware of what's coming into your mind and your body and you can put a stop to it with a healthy mindset, healthy decisions and choices that will ensure that you feel good and let them go over there and be negative. <laughs> the other thing I'd like to bring up is noticing how much you feel that you need to control others and your circumstances. Ooh, yes. When I hear from clients that are looking to control the outcome or control the situation and do everything to take over because they feel like they can't do it the best or they know better or they want to ensure that it works out a certain way, guess what happens? 
when you take on that enormous job of trying to control how everything works out, how everyone feels, are they happy? Are they, are they glad? Are they feeling fulfilled? That's exhausting and that's gonna feel negative on your body and affect the rest of your life. And also you might be button heads with some of these people because they really don't want you to control them. And then you'll set up negativity around you once again and the cycle continues. So the idea here is to take charge of what's coming into your mind by spending time reflecting truly how the world around you and what's going on within you are affecting your experiences in life. So just to recap, number one, start to pay attention to what's coming into your mind. And are you thinking thoughts? Are you saying things that are full of negative phrases like, I can't, I won't, I shouldn't, I have to, ugh. <laughs> you will be so much more aware and happy that you know what's going on inside your brain so that you can do something about it. That is the first step. Number two, yes, I know there's negativity coming at you from all over the place. You do not have to take part in it. You can stand back, put up boundaries and say, I am not available for that kind of negativity. Shut off social media, shut off the TV, shut off those people, put down the phone, don't answer the text, and really spend time with activities and people and events that help you feel positive. Number three, start to question, what is that need to feel that you need to be in control of everything and everyone around you? The need to control how people think of you and how they're feeling about a certain situation that's not your job, that's up to them. So free yourself from those anxious, negative, icky feelings and surrender control. Let them be themselves. So if what I said to you today excites you, resonates you, even pisses you off, head over to my website, denicelynnmorrison.com. Take advantage of this seven day mindset reset email mini course and along the way, know that I'm right there. You can email me every day and we can have a conversation to make sure that you're getting significant changes from that email course. And I know that you fully and wholeheartedly can see big changes as these little steps start to tweak your mindset, tweak your behavior and tweak your self-talk. I hope it helps. I hope that you found this useful and I will see you on the inside of the course. Have a great day. Bye.